As you can see and hear, we have a real treat today here in the Fios One studio. We are joined by Grammy-nominated guitarist Gil Paris and former Yankee Bernie Williams, also a Grammy nominee. You guys are part of a jazz quartet that will be performing in New York City next week. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks, thanks for you. having us. Thanks sure. So, Gil, you've toured as a soloist and also with many artists, uh, including Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Tony Braxton. How did yeah. you start collaborating with Bernie? Uh, well, we met about seven years ago. Uh, at a club in White Plains, Lazy Lounge, and uh, we've been playing together ever since. Now, Bernie, you played throughout the 16 years you were a Yankee. First of all, where did you get your initial training, and how did you keep playing even though you were a major league player? Uh, well, contrary to popular opinion, the baseball players have a lot of times in their hands, especially during the season, and when we're on the road, you know, you know, people choose to do a, a, a multitude of things, and I chose to just play my guitar. I actually was fortunate enough to be in high school uh, in a performing arts high school down in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where I grew up. And uh, music never left me. And, uh, you know, it was just a great way of just, you know, kind of relaxing and uh, never really took it very seriously until, you know, I sort of retired, stopped playing from, uh, start play stopped playing from the Yankees. Uh, and uh, I get, you know, like, like Gil said, we met uh, about seven or eight years ago. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, was, you know, able to hook up with him and uh, he has been a great inspiration in, in my playing and uh, certainly in my life. Did you train while you were a Yankee? I, no, I mean, I don't know if training is the right word for it, but I just kept playing and uh, just kind of like kept listening to a lot of music. Being in New York, obviously, you're exposed to a lot of music, yeah. from jazz to blues to rock, you know, and I was just able to take everything in and uh, kind of develop my own little style and still working on it, but uh, it's uh, been a great journey. So talking about the Yankees, uh, talk about some of the highlights of your career. Uh, well, I don't know where to start. I mean, uh, I was part of uh, uh, four world uh, championship teams, you know, from uh, 96, 98, 99, and 2000. I won four gold gloves. I was part of uh, uh, just a, a great uh, dynasty of, uh, you know, this great team that sort of came back in the mid-90s and, you know, basically lasted into, like, the early 2000s, uh, part of a great team and a great organization, and uh, I just had a great time playing the game and uh, uh, very fortunate to have that career. Now back to music. Gil, tell me what the quartet is like. Uh, you know, you didn't mention your hit in the old-timers game. <laughs> <laughs> that is right, Bill. Um, oh. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, the quartet features us with uh, Harvey S., a wonderful bass player, and uh, Thierry Arpino, a drummer. And I've arranged a lot of TV show themes and stuff, and uh, R&B tunes, and it's really a lot of fun. It's not just, you're going to see a show, it's an entertaining thing, and we have a really good time with it. Former Yankee Bernie Williams and jazz guitarist Gil Paris in the studio with us today. Gil, what are you going to play for us? We'll give you a little taste of Sex in the City. I like it. All right, take it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
was great, guys. If you want to hear more, Bernie and Gil will be playing with their quartet at the Catano Jazz Club next Friday the 19th. The club is located at 66 Park Avenue at 38th Street in Manhattan. The two shows start at 8 and 10 p.m. Reservations are required. For more information, go to our website, FilesWinNewsLI.com.